Hi, this is Luke for Production Expert, and this is using Session Wire with Aux.io. Now, I have set up here with two accounts on two separate machines. So, on the laptop just here, I have Studio One with Session Wire on its own account, and then on my main system, I'm using Pro Tools, which is also Session Wire, which is where the screen cap is happening right now. And if I just jump into the I/O setup in Pro Tools. You can see that in AUX.io, I've set up some new drivers. Now, what I've done is I've renamed the existing Pro Tools audio bridges. So I'm using the two channel A driver and I've renamed that. So because we're talking about sources, destinations, inputs and outputs, I've gone for a really literal name for my uh, 2A bridge. So this is from Pro Tools and that's sending into Session Wire. And then I've renamed the second driver, the 2B uh, Pro Tools audio bridge. That is from Session Wire output destination to Pro Tools. So hopefully no confusion there. So I can OK that and OK again. Now my whole mix is playing through a mix bus or aux input. I'll just select that so that you can see which one it is. And in its output, we can hear that we're actually monitoring through a hardware interface. So we're not listening to anything through Session Wire itself. And then I have Ascend, and that is the thing that is using the 2A driver, and that is going into Session Wire itself. Now I've decided to set this post fader so that it follows my main fader down at the bottom here. And if I press play and jump into Session Wire, we should see audio in it. Okay, so there we go. That's audio in Session Wire. And I'll just show you my Session Wire setup here. So, in here, as the input into Session Wire, I have to a audio bridge. Now, on my second account, I have Studio One and Session Wire, and that has the Session Wire Send plugin on the master output. Then on my main system, just jump into Session Wire and we can see that in my settings, I have the 2B virtual path enabled. So that is picking up my collaborator's audio in Session Wire. So I'll just jump into Studio One on my collaborator system. And jump into Pro Tools on my system. And you can see that that is there. I'll just pause that. For a so basically, I've created an audio track to pick up my collaborator's audio, and I've got that set to input monitor at the moment. You could use an aux input if you wanted to. And that input is using Pro Tools Audio Bridge 2B. So now I can send my Pro Tools audio to my collaborator, which hits session wire. And I can also receive audio from my collaborator from their Studio One setup. So that is using Session Wire with Pro Tools Aux IO. To find out more and to read our full article, head over to the Production Experts blog.